वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन डैश सिक्सटी फोर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन स्ट्रेस एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ वर्टिकल फोर्स ऑफ पी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड इज अप्लाइड टू द बेल क्रैंक डिटरमाइन द एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस डिवेलप इन टेन मिलीमीटर डायमीटर ऑफ फ्रॉड सी डी एंड एवरेज शेयर स्ट्रेस डिवेलप इन सिक्स मिलीमीटर डायमीटर पिन बी दैट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू डबल शेयर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बेल क्रैंक which is applied a load of 1500 newton and this is the rod cd which is used to support this bell crank and uh, there is a pin support at point b so this pin uh, this pin having diameter of 6 mm while this rod cd has diameter of 10 mm so you have to find the average normal stress in this cd and there is uh, a pin you have to find the Uh, sharing stress in that pin so let's start with the solution so if you take take the bell crank free body diagram fpd so what if we remove this pin support at point b so you will be having a vertical reaction force which is represented as by and there will be a horizontal reaction force which is represented as bx always try to draw it separately for for saving time i am drawing it over here and the rod cd exert a force of force fcd in this direction you can see that this force is downward causing the rod uh, causing it to move it as, as a result the rod exert force in this direction which is fc d so we'll find this fcd bx and by by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point b first moment will be p into perpendicular distance is 450 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative we will convert this 450 mm millimeter into meter which is 0.45 meter so p into 0.45 and i will also put the value of p which is given as 1500 so 1500 into 0.45 and you can see that uh, this fc is producing uh, counter clockwise movement because perpendicular distance is this one and this is the force about point b it is producing counter clockwise movement so it will be positive so how we will get this uh, vertical distance so you can see if i draw perpendicular line so this is 45 so this will be also 45 and this distance will be equal to uh, if you take uh, sin of 45 degree uh, okay let me explain it over here you can see you have one this is this fcd is 300 mm so you can see you have one portion is this one and other one is this one this this is the perpendicular distance so if you take sin of 45 degree so it will be equal to let this is y it will be y divided by cb which is 300 mm so 300 mm so y will be equal to this is in mm so y will be equal to 300 into sin of 45 degree and the unit will be mm so if you want to convert it into meter it will be 0.30 sin of 45 degree now you can see this fcd and perpendicular distance is this one clear this is the perpendicular distance and it is producing counter clockwise movement so it will be positive so i can write plus fcd into uh, 0.30 sin of 45 degree and it will convert the unit will be in meter okay now their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get fcd is equal to 1500 multiply by 0.45 divide by 0.30 sin of 45 degree and that will give you 3181.98 newton 
Now we'll find Bx and By by using another equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direct x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive. Now you can see that we have one force Bx is in this direction which is positive and Fcd is in opposite direction. Their sum must be equal to zero. So I can write Bx minus Fcd is equal to zero. So Bx should be equal to Fcd for equilibrium and Fcd is 3181.98 Newton. The last thing is that we can find the third force which is vertical By and it can be found by using this equation of equilibrium. So By minus this P which is 1500 is equal to zero. So from here you will get By is equal to 1500 Newton. Now you have all three forces. So what we will go is that force in this rod is this one FCD 3181. Clear? So what we are going to find the average normal stress in rod CD which is equal to force in rod cd divided by area of cd so force in rod cd is 3181.98 diameter of rod cd is given as 10 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter meter clear so we will use this and diameter of it is equal to pi by 4 d square and d is 0 0.01 square so it is 3181.98 and diameter will comes out to be 78.54 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. Now if you further simply calculate it, so you will get average normal stress in rod CD comes out to be 40.5 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and you will get average normal stress in rod cd will be equal to 40.5 mega pascal which is the answer of our first part now we'll move towards second part and in second part we have been asked to find the average shear stress in pin b okay you can see here that this is by and this is this is by and this is bx so if you take if you draw uh, it by using head to tail rule clear so there will be a resultant force which will be b and that will act on this pin b clear so how we can find this because you can see one is vertical component by let me draw it this is the b this is by and this is bx clear so by using Pythagoras theorem, B will be equal to Bx square plus By square under the root. So we will calculate this B by using Pythagoras theorem. So B is equal to Bx square plus By square under the root. Put the value Bx is 3181.98 square plus By is 1500 square under the root so you will get this b will be equal to 3517.81 newton now you have this b so you can see if i draw this pin like this sorry if i want to draw the pin like this at b so this b is acting over here and it is given that it is double shear because there are two supports so v b and v b so this shear force will be equal to this b will be equal to 2 v double shear so shear force will be equal to b by 2 and 3517.81 divided by 2 will give you the shear force v b on the pin and this shear force comes out to be 17, 1758.91 Newton. Now you have shear force. We know that every shearing stress 
is equal to shear force divided by shear area which is area of this pin B so put the value 1758.91 the diameter of this pin is given as 6 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.006 meter so what will be the diameter so diameter is pi by 4 d square d is 0 0.006 square and when you calculate it it will give you 62.2 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and in term of mega pascal it will be 62.2 mega pascal and that is the answer of our second part and this was all about this problem 1-64 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section i will suggest you to try this problem by your own and if you feel any difficulty you can ask thank you